who's really the smartest one in the sport of boxing? <laughs> and y'all getting mad, y'all y'all getting upset. Y'all getting upset. And guess what? I'm not going to no boxing sites because all they do, I get the hate on both sides. If you don't like me, don't write about me. If you, don't, if you guys don't want to see me do no exhibitions, don't come. Don't watch. I, I come on record and tell y'all, when it comes to legalized bank robbing, I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my name from Pretty Boy Floyd when I changed it to Money Mayweather, I started making money. You gotta speak things to an existence. So y'all can keep, y'all can write the stories that y'all wanna write. I don't care if y'all write good stories. I don't care if y'all write bad stories. At the end of the day, I will always have a last laugh. Because you say, because the people that write the stories, you be like, damn, I'm writing this story about Floyd. But look at the house I go to. And look at the house he go to. Damn, I'm writing about Floyd. But you can, you telling me that this kid, you tell me another boxer that makes $30 million from patches on his trunks. Tell me one, tell me one. I'm, remember, y'all got, y'all forget. I'm the one that put heavyweights out of business when I was fighting. I mean, it's all about the, the big guys, the heavyweights. I put them out of business. Then all the guys that y'all said was extraordinary, the Canelos and the Pacquiao's, I made them look ordinary. Then y'all go back and say, oh, oh we, want to, we want to see Floyd fight him again. Why? When you, get it, when you get it done right the first time, you ain't got to do it the second time. <laughs> if this kid said he'd been training every day for years, every day in boxing, I'm somewhere in Aruba, in the Bahamas, in Dubai, I'm traveling the world on my jet, making millions every month, not worried about, not worried about nothing. And then when I see it's a chance for me to do a heist, a quick, <laughs> a quick heist, I'm gonna I'm let y'all know this. Y'all can say what y'all wanna say. At the end of the day, I'm the smart one. Because I don't care if you write good about me, you write bad about me, just keep writing about me. Y'all keeping, keeping my name out there. Y'all talking about, oh yeah, Floyd, yeah, they, they, they say, oh, Floyd don't look good like he used to look. My bank account looking better and better each and every day. <laughs> and, I, and, no, no, and, I'm not, and I'm not coming back to the sport of boxing. Absolutely not. I, I, I did what I had to do. I made my mark on the sport. I kept all my, I got all, I got, I got all my faculties. Made a ton, made a ton of money. They probably like, money ain't everything, money ain't everything. Well, I know we got to eat food every day to survive, so we can live longer, and that takes money. So, to me, it looks like money is everything. But one thing, money can't come between, not not between me and my children. I love them unconditional. So. I knew I was supposed to have been out here earlier this week. I was supposed to have got to Miami early. The most important thing was my daughter's graduation. To me. Yeah. I'm just saying, to me. Tonight was, was this the mo like I said before, was this the most important thing tonight? I mean, just this week? Absolutely not. My daughter was. My children and my family is always the most important thing to me. So, no, no matter, what y'all write, whether you write good, write bad, oh, Floyd ain't like he used to be. Well, you get paid. Don't, and, and, if you, and if you don't want to watch, don't watch. That's it. But damn, it's crazy that I could do 30,000 at my age. On some sparring. Now, who's the smart one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I know y'all got some questions, go ahead. Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media Champ. It was great seeing you back in the ring doing what you do tonight. Uh, oh, yeah. thank, thank you for that show. Uh, you had a lot of success to the body tonight, uh, Logan, Paul. And uh, I wanted to know, at any time in those close clinches, was he grunting or cringing? And you could tell you could tell he was tired and the body shots was really effective. Um, breaking him down to the body, big guy, you know, chopping him down. But... Logan, hell of a, 
hell of a grappler, hell of a holder. <laughs> like I said before, you know, when you got a guy over 200 and some pounds, I'm pretty sure he weighed, you know, he weighed 189 yesterday, came in over 200. Um, after he got dehydrated, I mean, after he got rehydrated, um, it was cool, something to do. It was, it was cool tonight.